So can you start by explaining the spectrum of perinatal mood and anxiety issues? So what are some common symptoms, the conditions that you see, um, and how would a mom know if she needs to seek treatment? So uh, what we used to refer to as postpartum depression, which was a catch-all for any kind of diagnostic symptom that appears during pregnancy and postpartum is now called perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as you said. For the sake of shortening that long term, I'm going to refer to them as PMADS. Mm -hmm. um, and what is important to note is that often or previous to now, there was an assumption that PMADS only developed in the postpartum period, but actually 50% of all PMADS developed during pregnancy. And wow. it's not depression, it's perinatal anxiety, it's perinatal OCD, it's bipolar, it's psychosis, it's PTSD. These are all diagnoses that happen either during pregnancy or postpartum uh, that are specific to this particular period and are different from generalized anxiety, depression, and all of those other diagnoses. So most people are familiar with the baby blues. About 80% of all new mothers experience them. And it's the crying at the commercial that used to make you laugh or at the drop of a pin, feeling overwhelmed, irritable. And the baby blues usually last for about two weeks. Mm -hmm. As clinicians, when we start to think hmm, there might be something else going on here is if those symptoms continue past the two week mark and start to increase. So some very common symptoms that fit mostly under the category of postpartum or perinatal depression and anxiety, um, you know, sadness, yeah. hopelessness, um, helplessness. Uh, feeling uh, limited interest in doing the things that somebody used to perhaps really enjoy doing before, having a really difficult time making decisions, mm -hmm. um, having difficulty sleeping even when the baby's asleep at night because the anxiety is so rampant and it's kind of like a hamster wheel that a new mom cannot turn off. Uh, when eating is impacted, if mom loses her appetite or starts perhaps eating more than normal, that's a symptom that can be easily associated with either their depression and or anxiety in the perinatal period. Uh, irritability and rage is something that doesn't get enough attention. Uh, women that are experiencing a PMAT can feel rageful, even if at their baseline, they're yeah. just not an irritable person. But everything can, can make them feel irritated and angry, especially at their partner. Uh, and then Another very common symptom of a PMAD is something that we call scary and intrusive thoughts. Um, Karen Kleiman just wrote a really great book full of cartoons, and it's called Good Moms Have Scary Thoughts Too. Mm -hmm. So these are thoughts that will pop into a new mom, mom's mind out of nowhere all the time. And it's this fear of harm coming to the baby. So thinking, oh my God, I can't get near a window, I'm gonna throw my baby out the window. Or I can't get near a balcony because I'm gonna drop my baby over the balcony. Um, and, and just can't shake these thoughts. And sometimes mom will have an intrusive thought of herself harming the baby. And it's so distressing that she doesn't tell anybody when actually 80% of new mothers have scary intrusive thoughts. And this is a long-winded way of saying, trying to answer your question, when should somebody get help? When do they know if it's something beyond just the baby blues? It's, it's really measured by the level of distress that a new, or, or a, a new mom or a pregnant mom is experiencing. If, if these symptoms are impacting a new or expecting mom's daily ability to complete tasks, if she feels so overwhelmed by these symptoms, then it's probably time to speak to a professional.